this is it's fine it's fine don't worry about it it's okay um so what are we getting here you said you had extra weapons oh okay uh how do i oh that's fine okay let's go let's go um oh i don't even know how to begin finding sunny oh hello as the two of you make your way back towards the forest, you're stopped by a woman. Uh, hello? Excuse me, the woman says in a soft, low voice. She looks at you with a straight face. Um, hi, hello. Ah, hey, Vivian, August says with a slight choke in his voice upon seeing the woman. Uh, did you need something? He puts on a smile as he tries to hide his nerves. Uh, who is this? August leans closer to you. That's Vivian, Sunny's aunt. Oh, you freeze at the mention of Sunny. Oh no. <laughs> Vivian continues. I won't keep you long. I wanted to ask, have either, either of you seen Sunny anywhere? Oh no. <gasps> um, uh... <laughs> Um, uh, August panics slightly. Uh, yeah, sh she went off to help some of the festivities. Uh, she'll be right back. He stared at August with wide eyes. Uh, <laughs> stay quiet. Anything you say will make things worse. <laughs> Vivian narrows her eyes at you both. Hmm. Well, all right. Thank you. Have a good time at the festival. Okay. Okay, bye. You both nod as the woman walks away. Once she's once she's a good distance, you both sigh in relief. Oh, I can't believe I just lied to her like that, August says. What is wrong with me? Let's just go find Sunny before she realizes you lied. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, back into the forest we go. How do we use a sword? I don't know. Does it work like a stick? Don't worry. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Um. Oh. Uh, there. Over here. I see. Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Oh. I'm so bad at not swearing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You and August quickly make your way through the forest, keeping an eye out for the others. Keeping an eye out for the others as as well as any hostile creatures. Eventually, you stumble across Dimitri in a nearby area. Oh. August calls out to Dimitri. Hey bud, we're back! <laughs> Dimitri's ear twitches as he looks over at you. About time. He pauses. Wait, we? Hi. Dimitri looks at you, then shoots a glare at August. You brought her with you? She said she could help! And look, she has a weapon now, so she can properly defend herself! <sighs> Dimitri looks at the sword in your hand and sighs. Fine, just stay close. Okay, I will! Did you find Sunny yet? August asks. Does it look like it? Uh, Dimitri shoots him a look. Uh, my bad. <sighs> Sorry, I'm stressed. I think she says. I did find this, however. He holds up a small orange feather. Is that Sunny's feather? It looks like it, Dimitri says. That means she's at least been this way. If we can find more, if we can find more, we might be able to track to track down her lo her location. Uh, okay, let's go look around then. Uh, so, orange feathers. Uh, oh, there's one here. Uh, um. Over here. Okay. Uh, there's one over there. So she's probably, the, she's probably going this way. Okay, so this is pretty much a straight pass. Uh, let's go.
Sunny! What is that thing? I don't know, but get rid of it! Crazy to think, all of this happened because we needed to find a simple flower. If I had known things would have ended up like this, I would have said no to that stranger's request. Well, can't go back and fix it. If I don't act now, we're all gonna get eaten by a giant cow. Thing. I know what I must do. Marshy! It's risky. What are you doing? Get away from it! Do you have a death wish or something? But I have to try! Go fetch! Why did you do that? I thought I would go fetch and then we could run away! Does it look like a dog? Don't yell at me! I thought it would have worked too. Idiots. Look out! Yeah! I need a weapon! Here! Don't throw it! Uh, right! for a while with your current weapons, use Sunny and August to regroup away from the battle and try to figure something out. Demetria looks back at you all. What are you guys doing? Give us a second! August calls back to him before turning to you and Sunny. Okay, this isn't working. Um, uh, Marshy, give Sunny the sword! Uh, what am I gonna use then? Um, here! He hands you the bow. Use this! You take the bow in your hands and stare at it. It is now a good time to say that you're bad with a bow. <laughs> Wait, what will you use then? Sunny asks August as she holds both the sword and the boomerang. I, I, I don't know. He looks at the boomerang in her hands. Uh, give me that! He reaches over and snatches it from her. While you're all redistributing your weapons, Dimitri calls back to you. It's been a second! Get back over here! Okay! Ah! Okay! Bow! I'm bad with a bow! Oh no! Oh god, I don't want to hit you! Okay, wait. Bows are ranged. Bows are ranged. Okay, okay. Oh! This bow is bad! Oh no! I'm bad with the bow! Oh, I hit you! Sorry! I hit something! Am I winning? No! I keep hitting the floor, what if I aim up? I didn't even shoot! No! Um, um, um... Wait, okay. Maybe if I get a higher angle... Oh god! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Maybe if I pulled back a little more! No! Okay, uh, regroup again! Over here! After 
after struggling a while with her current weapons, again, you, Sunny, and August regroup away from the battle. Again! And try to figure something out. Again! Okay! Okay, this isn't working. How the heck do you use this thing? August says he holds up as he holds up the boomerang. I probably should have mentioned I suck with a bow! Give me the bow, Marshy! Sunny holds her hand out to out to you. Oh yeah, why didn't we do that earlier? You're great with a bow! Wait, seriously? August looks at Sunny. Why didn't you say that earlier? I didn't want to be rude. Oh, Sunny. Oh my. Okay, what are we doing? While the three of you discuss how to handle the weapon situation, Dimitri continues to solo the large cow creature. He seems to be tr struggling a bit on his own. Can you guys get it together? Okay, we need help! Okay, okay, um... August looks between you and Sunny. Uh, Sunny, you take the bow. I'll take my sword. Wait, this is my sword! Why didn't I start with this? Bro. What about Marshy? Sunny asks as she hands him the sword and takes the bow from you. Uh... They both look at you. Uh, I'll use my fists! No! And they both yell at you. Okay, okay, give me the boomerang then! Do you even know how to use it? August asks. You know what, I'll figure it out! I'll take your word for it. He hands you the boomerang. Alright, now the real fight begins! Alright, guys. Guys, a little help here. For the hold up, we'll take it from here. I can hardly stand August. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, this isn't too too hard. It comes back. I don't, I don't think I lose my my weapon if I use this. It's like, and look, if I throw it, it comes back. And then, hey, by the way, where's the sword that I threw? It's fine. We don't need it. I have a boomerang now. Did it die? Did we get it? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh! Give me. Ow! I can't. I got. Give me. I can't pick it. I think we found what we were looking for. <laughs> I would like to pick up the rose. Thank you. It didn't pick up. You know what? We're gonna pretend I have it. <laughs> well, we got what we wanted. Um. After a long, difficult fight, made more difficult by your lack of planning and coordination, you and the others finally have a chance to rest. Not only did you successfully defeat the creature, you also found the rose you were looking for. Score! You look at the rose and admire it. Wow. Sunny leans in and looks at it as, at it as well. It's actually kind of pretty. All of that? For a flower? Uh, let's just go back to the village. He glances toward the withered part of the forest. Um, should we worry about that? <gasps> he stays quiet for a moment. Probably. He looks back at you. But that's a later issue for us, not you, he says. Hey, I proved my worth! Maybe hone your skills a bit more, and then we'll talk. Hmm. Well, I'm ready to go when you guys are, August says. I'd rather not stick around here. I almost feel sick from just breathing in the air around here. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Alright, guys. Anyone remember how to get back? 
Is it this way? Okay. Sunny, lead the way. <laughs> or literally anyone. That's not me. I am. I get. I get lost easily. gonna mention the the creepy forest uh we're, we're gonna pretend everything's fine right totally this is wait hold on that's the that's the back of a the house there we are here's the village <laughs> didn't happen yep for sure totally didn't happen oh we're back in the village everyone's oh you get back to the village without any issues you feel relieved when you see the decorations are still hung up for the festival. Oh boy! Great! We didn't miss the festival! Sunny beams. Thank goodness! You'll take two steps into the village before you hear, you hear a familiar, angry voice call out. August! Is that Vivian? Oh no. Dimitri looks at August. What did you do? Oh uh, well, uh, before you could explain, Vivian storms over to your group. She's fuming with anger. Where is Sunny? Auntie Vivian! Sunny pushes past you and hugs Vivian. Sunny's presence seems to immediately pacify Vivian's anger. The older woman looks at Sunny and returns the hug. Sunny, I was looking all over for you, she says. Where have you been? Oh, um... Sunny pauses, unsure what to say. Um... Sunny pokes her fingers together and puts her head down. Ah, uh, we went in the forest. You went... Before Vivian could explode in anger, Dimitri speaks up. Don't worry, miss. She was in good hands. Vivian looks at Dimitri and then sighs. Well, well, as long as she's safe. She looks at Sunny. Sunny, would you like to join me in the festivities? Sure, but can my friends come along too? Of course. Whatever makes you happy, sunshine. Vivian gives Sunny a smile before looking August. Oh, and August? Mm-hmm. Don't lie to me again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'll be in the center when you're ready, Vivian says before turning and walking away. You all watch as she leaves. I think that went well. Dimitri looks at August, crossing his arms. You got a lot of nerve lying to her, of all people. What did you even tell her anyways? I- I panicked, okay? She asked where Sunny was, and I said she was helping with the festival. Yeah, I didn't really help with the situation either. Hey, don't worry about it. Aunt Vivian is super nice. She won't hold it against you. Yeah, and I mean, hey, it could have been a lot worse, right? And they all stay silent. Let's just go join the festival, Sunny says. Yeah, good idea. All right, festival time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk to everyone. Maybe, are, are you still doing your game? Oh, hey! Welcome back! Did you want to play again? I just have to set up the balloons again. Elysia says, as she sets up the game that she was hosting. Uh, no, we just wanted to say hi and see how you were doing. Oh, hello then! <laughs> well, I gotta set these up. I hope you have a good day! Eliza says, trying to climb the tree. Well, you have a good day too. Oh, I... stressed. Oh, where did he go? Um, 
Hello. Hey guys. You find the Compton family relaxing at the picnic area where you would see not that says Nahida. Whoops. <laughs> Typo. This is why we can't have names that look too similar. <laughs> you find the Compton family relaxing at the picnic area, as you would see that Nadia would be making a flower crown. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. We're just rela We're just resting after all the activities today. Shawnee says with a light smile. Um. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, actually, I, we might come back for a flower crown, but I want to talk to some other people first. Where are, wait, I want food, actually. I'm hungry. I want food! Get me food, please! Hey there, you need anything? Janae says with four tone. Well, I wanted food, but also, how are you, how are you doing? Well... Actually, I'm cashing in for that favor from earlier. Oh, what? Janae says with a slight smile. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Um, oh, what do you need? A flower crown from that Nadia girl. Mm, purple in particular, Janae says. All right, I knew, I knew I had a, I knew we should have came here first. All right, let's get you a flower crown. Uh, except. Oh, I have a flower. Well, we're gonna pretend I don't have a flower. <laughs> hey, now we can buy your flower crown. <laughs> can we buy a flower crown? <gasps> sure, you can have a flower crown. Nadia says with a big smile on her face. Thank you, Nadia. Hope you have a good day. Shani says as she watches over her daughter. All right, thank you, thank you! I need my flower. Can I have my flower, please? Thank you! We got you a flower. It's not really purple, it's a little more blue, but it's the closest we got. How do we complete? All right. Do you have the flower crown? Janessa is trying to hide her excitement. Yup, here you go! <gasps> Thank you so much for this, Janessa says with glee. No problem! I got bread. I got bread. Oh heck yeah! Oh heck yeah! Oh heck yeah! Uh, what kind of bread? Banana nut! Where did you go? Sunny, wait, I ran away and I lost you. Sunny, where did you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hydrate. You want some? Here. Sure. Well, there you go. You got bread. Um, hello. Oh, oh. Are you here to play tic-tac-toe again? Scott stutters in a calm tone. Actually, we just wanted to check up on everyone. Oh, th that's good. I was just putting everything away. I, I hope you have a good day, you two. Scott stutters while he's actively putting the game, putting away the game he was hosting. Well, I hope you have a good day too. Everyone's so nice. I guess everyone's cleaning up. I left the door open to your house. My bad, sorry. Anyway, uh, that's also the door broke. We don't pre pretend the door never broke. Hi! You said you told stories, right? Oh, welcome back. You t welcome back, you two. Glad to see you again. But says his- it says with- says as you see his eyes are barely open. Oh. So. You want to see my wares or hear a story? Actually, can we? Can you tell us a story? I, I, I was now that we have some free time. I would love to, love to hear it. Sure. Well, there was one time I. <sighs> but Bud trails off as he begins to hear soft snoring come from him. Did he? 
he just he just fell asleep. I I want I wanted to hear the story. He just he just fell asleep. Does he do this often? Wait, I want to I want to It's fine. <laughs> Hi! Let's leave him be. He needs some sleep. Yeah, good idea. Is there anything you need? I'm setting up for a show later, Lunita says as she moves around the area. Oh, uh, no, 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 not really. We're just wondering how you were doing, uh, how you're doing with the festivities, Sunny Beams. Oh, I've been enjoying it myself. I... I hope to see you two at my show soon. Lena just says with a smile on her face. Yeah, I would love to see your show. Are you you want to dance? Oh, I really want to see your pretty dance. Okay, okay. I, I'm excited for that. Anyway. Uh, hey, Vivian, are you still mad from earlier? Uh... <laughs> oh, hello. Marshy, how are you? Vivian says as you approach her. I'm pretty good. I don't remember telling you my name. That was a, a mis mis thing on my part as the writer. Uh, my B. <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. She turns to Sunny. Hello, Sunny. How are you doing? Vivian gives her a smile. Hi, Auntie Vivian! Sunny smiles and gives her aunt a hug. Are you enjoying the festival? It's quite lovely, Vivian says. Even better now that you're home safe and sound. Mm-hmm. Well, have a good day, Vivian. Um, well, we're going to explore a bit more, then we'll regroup with you. Um... Hey, guys. I mean, you guys, I haven't seen you since this, this morning. How you doing? What's up? Well, actually, what, was it this morning? Hi. You'll find Loretta watching over with Delia as she sips her tea. Hello there, Marcy. Is there anything that you need? Lerda asks with a tone filled with concern. Oh, no! I just wanted to ask how you were doing. I'm doing good, but please enjoy yourself, Lerda says as she sips her tea. All right, I will. Thank you. How are you? I haven't really talked to you much. No. Oh. Hello there, Marshy. I hope that Wadeli has been treating you well. Andreas says with a smile on his face. Yeah, it's a really nice place. It's very cute, quaint. Everyone here is very friendly. Glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that you like it here. He smiles. We hope, we hope you've, we hope we've helped you feel at home. Yeah, I feel a lot at home. Thank you. This place is really nice. Oh, <gasps> actually, Sunny. I want to find where I- did I- So you said I fell from the sky? Did I leave a crater? Where did I fall? You said it was outside the forest, right? Where did you go? Oh, I want to find- uh, uh, we probably shouldn't- I'm gonna go find my crater. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said it was right out here, right? Somewhere? Crater, crater, crater. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I, I guess I made a new feature for your town. <laughs> Let's go back to the village. <laughs> you really did make a mark. I did make a mark. <laughs> okay. Um, that's gonna be a little tough to clean up. Um, anyway. Where, where are the others? 
Hey guys. Are you... You find August and Dimitri hanging out together by Janae's bakery booth. August munches on some bread while the two, while the two of them talk. Hey guys, how's it going? They both look at you as you call out to them. Oh hey, you enjoying the festival? You know, yeah, it's been a little difficult with all the running around, but you know it's been great. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> Welcome to our life. We do this stuff all the time as hunters. Huh. Dimitri crosses his arms. Just be happy you're not stationed in one of the larger colonies. You'll never have time to relax then. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank Farah for that. Um, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, what's up? What exactly is a hunter? Well, in simple terms, we're the ones who protect the colony from danger, Dimitri says. So, like guards, but Loretta said it was a, more than just that. I did say that was a simple explanation. There's a quite a bit that we may, that we ha may have to do as hunters, but most of the time it's just patrols and dealing with trouble. Or causing trouble in some cases. You should to look at August. Aw, oh, come on, buddy. You know you love me. August works. Mm hmm. Uh, I have more questions, actually. All right. What's up? Uh, what's the plan with the dark stuff in the forest? You know, the cow and the dogs and the dark grass and trees and the fog. What are we doing about that? They both look at each other and then back at you. We were just talking about that, actually, August says. We're not entirely sure how to handle it. We've never really, we've never really seen anything like it before. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We'll figure something out, Dimitri says. As long as it doesn't spread closer to the village, it should be fine for the time being. He pauses. That doesn't mean we can just ignore it, though. Mm-hmm. Hey. I hope we don't have to fight another giant cow creature. <sighs> oh, yeah, that would be... That would be pretty bad. That, that would suck. <sighs> suck it up. It's your job. I don't remember giant cows being in the job description. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all. <laughs> well, see you later then. If you want to chat, just come find us. All right, see you guys. Oh. You must be exhausted <laughs> from running around. <gasps> Wait, oh, oh. I forgot! We need to go find- Um, where is- she? Where- where are they? Where- where- You have no idea. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh! Oh! Over here! Hey! I almost forgot! Hey! You and Sunny make your way through the village, looking for the stranger from earlier. After a while of searching, you finally find- find them once- once again, alone and away from the crowds. They have a small table set up with a freshly baked cake sitting on it. There you are. Oh, that was me speaking. Why did I say it like them? There you are. We found you. <laughs> the stranger looks over at you with slight surprise. Oh, it's you. I was starting to think you forgot about me. Oh, no, no. We just uh, got distracted is all. No biggie. But good news! We found the flower! Their eyes widen a bit. You did? Mm-hmm! Ta-da! They look at the flower in your hand. Well, color me impressed. You really found one. And so quickly, too. As the stranger takes the flower from you, Sunny asks, Why did you want this flower anyway? 
They gave a glance towards Sunny. It's a gift for the one we're celebrating today. Sunny tilts her head. Wait, Flara? Uh, you know she's not actually going to be here, right? The stranger pauses as they sneakily pluck some petals from the rose. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to save it for later then. They smile. But either way, here. They turn away and they turn away and cut two slices of cake, placing the petals neatly on top of the two slices before turning back to you. Take this as a thank you for your trouble. <gasps> oh, thank you! Cake, 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 cake. Oh, thank you. Sunny pauses. Oh, um, what's your name? Call me Ira. They say before you. Before you have a chance to respond, they turn away. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Enjoy the festival. Uh, uh wait! And with that, and with that, they're gone. You still had some questions you wanted to ask, but you guess they'll have, but you guess they'll have, you'll have to save them for next time. But who knows when next time will be. Sunny taps your shoulder. Let's go join the festival, she says. And this time, let's just enjoy it instead of running around doing errands for people. Mm-hmm. <gasps> You're a special cake! <gasps> cake! Okay. Hmm. All right. You both make your way back to the festival. After exploring a bit, you bump into someone once again. Oh boy, here we go. Hey! I hate to be a bother, but could you do something for me? Um... We wanted to go to the festival, um... What? Wait, you want to be supposed to say no? Try again! Um, but, but okay, sure, what, what, what's, what is it? Oh, thank you! And yes, I promise it'll be super quick, the person says. Here. They hand you a sparkly diamond. Could you take this and place it in the statue in the shrine for me, pretty please? Um... Why don't you do it yourself? Uh, my foot really hurts, so I don't think I can walk all the way there myself. Uh, do you need any help? I'm not a doctor, but... Oh, no, no, I'll be fine. I just need a rest for a while. Okay. What's this diamond for anyway? Sonny asks. It's the statue's missing piece, the hooded stranger says. Have you not seen the big gaping hole in it? Oh, that's what that is! Um, yeah, we can return it for you. Thank you so much. I'll see you later then. Hop to it. Okay. Um, the statue. Okay. Okay. 